Hey guys, new name here, coming at you from my Iron Man. I haven't really been playing this, or well, playing it on my main screen. I've been playing it on my second monitor, doing lots of AFK grinding. So this has been the uh, content I've done a little bit before Necromancy came out, and then what I did on my Iron Man while Necromancy came out. I'm still not sure if I'm going to start the grind for Necromancy, but who knows? Everything can change. Next video, I may be working on my Iron Man doing necromancy on this. But anyways, before I get into that, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the social media down below. And I will catch you guys at the end. Okay, so I am at my player-owned farm. I have enough for 15 growth potions. So that should be more than enough. So, if you are from old school and don't know what these do, they instantly grow a patch, so you can use your seeds on the patch. One. Make sure you have your aura active. And then you use the potion on the patch to instantly grow it, and then you can instantly harvest it. So, I'm going to use all of these up. Oh, actually my... Farming Cape Perk activated, which instantly harvests the whole patch. So, yeah. Um, once I get these equal, I am probably going to switch to single seeds. Because you do technically get more um, herbs per seed if you do it just the single seed. So, anyways, I will be back when I have finished farming all of these. All right, so I finished it, and it looks like I got 189 from 32 seeds, which is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and make these into overloads. So since I still am not the right level, I think it's probably going to be best for me to uh, do stews again. So yeah. I'm going to get that boost, and I'll be back when I finish my overloads. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so after all of that grinding at Archglacier, it may seem crazy, but I think I'm ready to start my next boss and grind. I think with that tome, or sorry, with the scripture of when, the next best grind for me is going to be to start Twin Furies to get some really good ranged gear, because I don't really have good power gear, and their seals are good for, or well, their uh, crests are great for ranged gear. So I got 549 seals of the Dragon Rider from my Vindicta grind, which if you didn't see that, uh, check it out down below. But I have 1,600 reputation in Zami, so we will see how far this gets us. If I should be able to just use it on him, hand them in, and oh man, I am super close to the final bound, final amount. I think I should be able to get there the rest of the way with bounties, so I think that's what we're going to finish off today, is just getting quite a few bounties. Um, let's see, I should be able to... Yep, I can get an Insignia now, which pretty much is useless because I have the Shard, and so yeah. Anyways, let's get a Bounty. So I want to fight for Zamorak. And I need to kill Zeros creatures, so that'll be good. So I am going to go ahead and get going on that. So yeah, I'll get the kill count going or well get the reputation built up and I will be back once I have finished all of my bounties all right so I finished my first bounty I realized I didn't really explain what these do um for people who haven't played RuneScape before or haven't played RS3 uh basically uh, this you just kill either the boss or the trash mob to get extra reputation in the other whichever boss you have selected or faction you've selected 
So I got uh, more of a bounty. So I got 150 reputation per bounty. So I can get another four, but I should be able to hit for sure 5,000 reputation, which what the reputation does is it makes it so your drop rate increases for the good drops. So uh, at max reputation, it's basically twice as likely to get a drop. And it also reduces the amount of kill count I need. So I can get 10 uh, hours for this kill count instead of uh, 5. That's really good. So anyways, I'm going to get the next bounty. Get again for Zamorak. And this time I get to kill Saren. So all I have to do is run in the direction of the Saren boss. Alright, so this should be the end of my final bounty. And yep, there it goes. I now have max reputation for the Zamorak front. So again, that means I get um, a 100% increased drop rate. Uh, kill count required is cut in half. I get the Fury Wings override. I have, let's see, the pet, and I can create the Anima Core body and such. So once I get max reputation in all factions, I also unlock the title. So there is that, which I am getting close to it. So I'm probably going to get Saren next, but anyways. Now it's time for the next part of this grind. So the next thing I will need to do is actually prepare a crap ton of food. Which, let's see, from a previous episode I did a whole bunch of fishing. So, yeah, I am going to start by cooking all of my sharks and all of my rocktail, because that should get me to 99 cooking. And then with 99 cooking, I can cook 6,000 sailfish. So, I am at 98 cooking. And I will be back with all the food that I cook. Alright, so I missed it, but I did get 99 cooking. So, I can now uh, cook sailfish, and I won't burn them with the fishing gauntlets. However, there is a better reason to be excited about this. Um, I can get the cooking cape. Which, if you do not know, the cooking cape basically makes it so you never burn anything with or without the cooking gauntlets. So it's great, especially if you have the sous chef's outfit, which I have not gotten in unlocked yet. Maybe I should at some point. But uh, it's great as it lets you equip the whole outfit, and also, yeah, just in general, you don't burn food anymore. So, I am going to the cooking guild, and gonna go ahead and pick that up. We're just really close, actually. Oh, don't know, maybe I do need a hat. Uh, yeah, I've gotta go get the chef's hat. I will be back. Okay, so, finished the walk of shame, got my chef's hat. And I believe, yep, here we go, the head chef. So, yes, I would like a cape. Yes, take my money. Don't like the hood, put it on the cape. And there we go, there is the cape, awesome. And yes, yet again, uh, you will be unable to burn food while cooking. So now I can go back and finish. I've got to can't go in there. Now I can go back and finish cooking. Um, I can cook my sailfish, which if I head over to the bank, I can show you I have been stockpiling it. So since I can't cook it, um, usually when I'm AFKing, if I'm at the swarm, I just have letting it pile up. So I've got 6,300 sailfish. So that is going to be amazing to get cooked. Um, 
Not good for the bosses I'm doing now because I'll probably just keep using my shark, but I'm going to go ahead and finish off this episode by cooking all of my sailfish. So, I will be back when that is done. Okay, so, I finished cooking all of my food, so I got uh, 6,326 6, sailfish, a lot of blue blubber jellyfish, lots of rocktail, and lots of shark. Um, I do think my next grind, I do know what I want to do, and I have the stuff for it. I am just not sure if now is the time, because I'm working on a lot of stuff on my main with, um, Necromancy being out. I haven't done anything on this account yet, so I'm not exactly sure what the next step's going to be. But anyways, I think I'm going to call this an episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just kind of a catch-up episode of everything I've been doing on my Iron Man since I've been busy with necromancy on the main. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.